hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well and hope you're all staying safe and welcome back if today is your first time clicking on my video or um tuning in welcome and hope you're here to stay my name is akos yelena for those people who don't know it and if you are a returning subscriber welcome i know i've been going for like um, <laughs> a hot minute now it's been like uh, a month now and i do apologize i have already um a few a few a few a few i've already filmed a few videos but me having the time and dedicating to you know um edit it and post it out there has been all over the place and i'm hoping that with this video right right after i finish you know um editing i'll be uploading it so as you can see from today's video, we are going to be talking about what you need to pray before reading the scripture, before reading the Bible and where to start. So um, I'll be um, doing um, part one and part two. So the part one will be what you need to pray for. Um, before I'm uh, reading the scripture and the next one will be um, where to start All right, so um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do um, hit the notification bell so that you will not miss any video that I could see and then I upload and let's just jump straight into the video i'm so sorry guys if you see me like looking up here and uh, i always say i got my um <laughs> i got my laptop i got my notes i got everything set up and please do not mind my background like my background is not always perfect but i always try and make it better so yeah let's jump to today's video and i hope that god is going to help us let's start um so my first advice is that pray for the blessings of the holy spirit so that you may comprehend the word of good fully okay so ask for an insight that might enable you to understand or to recognize his word it is important for you to read the bible and accept the concept of it and what god is telling you so we should always ask for the holy spilling spilling for the holy spirit filling to dwell in us so um another thing is that you should also ask the god that he should help you so now you'll be able to um, utilize it and you'll be able to empower so that his words will be able to empower you as well so make sure you do so so a mind second tip is that um pray for peace of mind right pray for peace of mind as you prepare for time of study okay so ask the father of a feeling of calmness ask the father to help you to stay input ask the father for him to grant you a peace of mind and a calm and to calm your troubling heart i know sometimes as we humans maybe um before you know we started to study the word we might have a bit of um maybe um misunderstanding with let's say our spouse with maybe our friends our parents or with our um with someone as an example and we are so angry that we cannot even focus on the word we cannot even focus on what god is telling us so we should always ask for a peace of mind for god to you know help us 
and to strengthen us so that he will help us to find um, our purpose and what the path he has lead for us so make sure we ask for for we ask for peace of mind it's really really important so make sure you put that one in mind so my last thing is that ask god to help you to remember his word at all time yeah at all time and as well as applying it in your daily life yeah so it is important for us to ask the father to um enable us um enable us um to remember his words at all that all time sorry so that we'll be able to um, apply it in our daily life sometimes as we humans we must sort of like we can be not sort of like we can be you know bitter and we can um, also be offensive and we can be offensive and this often can lead us to a range of trespassing committing against us so we should always ask god to recognize his word so when we are caught up in a situation we should remember that what god says you know uh we should we should forgive and forget so we if someone even you know does something to us we should not quickly retaliate we should calm ourselves down and we should ask god to you know uh help us and also the bible teaches us that we must humbly forgive um one another so we can be forgiving so we should always make sure that we put that one in mind as well before we start reading our bible before we start reading our script and um, thank you so much for watching i hope you find this video useful if you did do not forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will not miss any video at all that i could see in upload and also make sure that guys you stay put to um part two where we'll be talking about where to start so yeah thank you so much for watching and god bless guys